in this video. A circuit with which you can measure tiny currents. And when I'm talking about tiny currents, I even don't know exactly how tiny that current is. But the electronic circuit here works and that's very important. I did a few experiments uh, and finally found out this circuit. Here is the meter that gives the indication a microamperimeter the resistance, DC resistance of that coil inside that meter is 320 ohms. But of course you can use another type of microamperimeter, doesn't matter much. And here is the schematic. And there's a lot to tell about that schematic. Uh, at first how it was made. This is, of course, we know that, a Wheatstone bridge. At first I made that Wheatstone bridge with 1K resistors, but afterwards I found that I had to bring the resistor values in that bridge very, very substantially down, and they were uh, brought down to 4.7 ohms. And that means that here, when we measure things, uh, there, there is a very tiny voltage and quite a high current. Anyway, you see how it was made in an experimental way. Of course, everything is experimental. It perhaps only will work on 20 degrees Celsius, etc. So here is that Wheatstone bridge. The meter is connected here and here, etc. But the voltage supply is this very low value, 0.049 volts at approximately say 500 milliampere or something like that. And when we look at the classical uh, transistor theory, it is more or less impossible that such a transistor works on such a low value. The barrier voltage of a silicon transistor is uh, quite high, say 0.7 volts or 0.8 volts. So I still wonder why this works. I have, have uh, sorry, made, I have connected the iron wire that is responsible for the current directly without these three transistors to the um, Wheatstone bridge and that did not work. So the transistors play a role. But of course in a, say, very tiny uh, current band where they work. Of course I have to study that much better, but anyway the reason that this works uh, gives me the confidence that this is a good circuit that's usable. Of course with real scientific circuits uh, Everything here is compared to that. Everything here is quite simple, but anyway. I made here, according to the classic radio um, and electronic theory, a voltage divider. And you can immediately see that that voltage divider here is quite lovable. It's one wire here. But that wire has a certain resistor, a resistance. And the other part of that voltage divider is this iron wire 
that I'm gonna heat up to make the properties of that this circuit uh, visible. And of course I have by purpose lowered the value of these uh, resistors in the Wheatstone bridge because otherwise I could not go get a real effect in terms of changing voltage or changing current when I heated up the iron wire. So let's do that experiment and look at the microamperometer that is by the way preset with this trim potentiometer that's here. And here we read the voltage 0 0.0049 volts anyway and here the meter and now I'm gonna heat up with this gas lighter that iron wire and I hope it will be visible what happens heat it up now and you can see the pointer move to a somewhat higher position and that's everything to do with the change of the resistance inside that iron wire that's here oh my uh, sorry my hand it's hot uh, I heated this this up when it's heated up the resistance changes that also means that the voltage divider here uh, consisting of this copper wire and this iron wire uh, gives out another value to the three transistor stage. And of course we are talking about say nanoamperes, perhaps even smaller, I don't know that anyway. Uh, but it is uh, a serious circuit with which you can make visible the electron flow in uh, that piece of iron wire. A few things are important. Uh, the voltage is extremely low, the current is quite high. The resistors in this bridge, of course, uh, may not get warm or hot. I felt the temperature here and they were all cool. So uh, that means that uh, this 0 0.3 watt resistor is usable. I think for somewhat better uh, um, purposes use a 0 0.5 watt resistor that surely cannot get warm or hot. So again strange to see that this and this uh, are in a certain way a voltage divider but perhaps my conclusion is uh, wrong. I don't think so but anyway and um, well this is the whole circuit and with this circuit again you can make tiny currents and even electron flow visible and to make it in a better and professional way of course you have to find uh, an application where the pointer of the meter moves more fears to this side. Uh, that means that you will have a better bandwidth, so a more precise measurement uh, regarding to electron flow or resistance, extremely uh, low resistance.
the circuit again. The pointer moved back. So I want to try to heat the iron wire again up somewhat. I do that now with the gas lighter here. And you can see that the pointer moves. And that means that the heating of that iron wire has a, a substantial effect on the resistance of that iron wire and thus the electron flow. And now it cools down and the pointer falls back.